In a quiet commercial district in a plain white building, there is a collection that most people don't know exists. This collection houses the names and memories of Colorado's great racing heroes. This place is called the Matthews Collection. It is the home of the Colorado Motorsports Hall of Fame. The Colorado Motorsports Hall of Fame had its first inductee in 1978. Since then, the Colorado Motorsports Hall of Fame has inducted over 75 men and women. The newly created Jerry Van Dyke Memorial Award recognizes outstanding contribution to Colorado Motorsports by an individual. The award recipient is chosen by the Colorado Motorsport Hall of Fame Board of Directors. The 2011 recipient of the Jerry Van Dyke Award is Joe Starr. Scotty Backman, uh, Colorado Motorsports Hall of Fame Board of Directors. Scott Backman is currently a member of the Board of Directors for the Colorado Motorsports Hall of Fame and helped choose the recipient of the Jerry Van Dyke Award. And Joe Starr's name came up. No matter what racetrack you've been to in Colorado in the last 30 years, everybody that's a racer knows the name Joe Starr. He's taken photographs everywhere and uh, it's a very prestigious award and uh, Joe's very deserving. My name is Joe Starr. In the fall of 1974, Joe bought his first camera with no thought of ever taking photos of race cars. As far as shooting pictures of race cars, that was all by accident. I had a camera and I used to take it to the racetrack, shoot a few pictures through the fence or from the grandstand seat. He took the camera with him on a trip to Kansas City for a race at I-70 Speedway. I walked into a racetrack at I-70 Speedway in Kansas City, Missouri. I didn't know any better, didn't know you were supposed to have a pit pass to get in. Walked into the infield, shot a few pictures, uh, shot up all the film I had, walked back out of the racetrack, went back to my seat in the grandstand, and the next year when I went back, I found out you were supposed to have a pit pass to be in there. The photographer's job at Colorado National Speedway became available for the 1981 season. That was in 1981. I've been the photographer at Colorado National Speedway ever since. So I, you know, I guess I'd have to say I got started by accident. I have the best job in the world. I was a fan. I used to watch the races and cringe my neck and stand up and try and get close to the fence to see what was going on. And as a photographer, now I'm allowed to go in there and stick my nose right in the middle of everything, see what's going on, and, and do that. Uh, you know, I mean, I have the best job in the world for a fan, and that's all I ever have been has been a fan. You know, somebody says, where did you learn how to shoot pictures? I just shot pictures that I thought that I would like. As a result of Joe's successful career, many of his images have been published in numerous racing-related publications across the country, including Late Model Digest and NASCAR Magazine. As a result of that, he has been able to attend many national events, including NASCAR, World of Outlaws, Indy Racing, USAC, and many other events. Well, the first picture I had published was a, was a picture of Nicholas Sasso flipping his sprint car over the top of Lane Wright at Colorado National Speedway. And that was the very first year I was shooting pictures. And I thought, oh man, getting these pictures published in a publication is a piece of cake. Joe Starr's photos has helped Colorado National Speedway draw fans and sponsorships over the years. And no one knows this better than the racers of Colorado. Yes, my name's John Woodard. I've been at Colorado National Speedway since 1965. But Joe has been a big part of this racetrack and lots of other racetracks around the country because every place you go, he's normally doing something, taking pictures or whatnot, and he's always here. He's here as much as any one single person. first met Joe, I mean, it wasn't by accident, it was by him taking pictures. And he immediately, when he started, when they hired him to do this, he went around and introduced himself to all of us, and it became more than just a, a gentleman taking a picture of us guys. He turned into be a friend, a friend not only of my, myself, but for all the racers out here. These drivers put their heart and souls into their race cars, and most of them pull the money out of their own pockets to race. But with the help of Joe, some of these drivers get the chance of putting sponsors on the side of their race car. It is because of Joe's great ability to capture life and the action that comes with it that he is being awarded. Over the years, Joe has gained a reputation of being one of the best. During Joe's long and fruitful career, he was given a nickname, and this name describes Joe Star to a T. That nickname is the one and only Photo Joe Star.